maybe Duke, Wisconsin, and Kentucky, we can all be in the same bracket. Hey there, everybody. That was Greg Marshall today discussing NCAA tournament seeding despite Moving up to number eight in the AP rankings today, ESPN bracketologist Joe Lenardi still only believes that the Shockers are worthy of a four seed. Marshall was asked today how he'd feel if the Shocks were put in Kentucky's bracket. His response, that would be quite ironic. He said the way things went last year, he wouldn't be surprised if Wichita State was put in another loaded bracket once again. But here's why Marshall believes the Shockers have the potential to beat anybody. Offensively, they can, they can put up some numbers and... Scoring 74 points against um, most teams is not that big of an accomplishment, but when you score 74 against Northern Iowa, that's, that's like scoring 100 against a lot of people. Uh, they, they defend so well. and You know, we've got guys that are willing to play both ends, obviously very talented guys that can score in one-on-one -on -one situations, but they share the ball too. We have tr usually a tremendous assist-to-turnover ratio, shows their unselfishness and their ability to share. Next up for the Shocks, St. Louis, where they will try to repeat as Valley Tournament champions. They'll get the winner of the Southern Illinois-Missouri State game on Friday. And if the Shocks win that game, they will then play either the Illinois State or Evansville winner in the semifinals on Saturday. Meanwhile, the Jayhawks continue to hang around in the top ten despite having lost three of their past seven games and at least temporarily having lost their starting big man Cliff Alexander due to an eligibility issue being investigated by the NCAA. The Jayhawks check in at number nine this week and likely will land the two seed in the NCAA tournament if they are able to hold on and win an 11th straight Big 12 title. 